Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. I'm here with your mid-monthly readings, okay, for the rest of July 2019, and this will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It may also resonate if you're dealing with a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and you're cross-watching. As always, just keep an open mind, take what resonates, how it resonates, make sure to watch all your signs, and I am running a special offer reading, so if you're interested in that or any other type of reading offered, they're all in the description box below, okay? So let's jump in here. What's going on for Pisces for the rest of July 2019? So we have the King of Cups, could be your energy or someone you're dealing with. The Fool, leaving something behind. King of Pentacles, Ooh, choices, choices. Queen of Wands. Death card. Six of Wands. The Star. Five of Wands. Seven of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. Okay, something really over here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is um, looking at things closely, paying attention to the details. It's something to review. Uh, it can be an offer uh, in terms of money, job, studies, love life, whatever it is. It's, it's an offer coming through for you to review. Whether you decide to take it or not, that's a different issue. We may get more clues as we dive deeper into the reading, but it is something worth looking into, okay, with the Page of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, it might be a love offer. Um, it's more realistic, down to earth, than it may have been before. However that makes sense, let's see. So, King of Cups, Six of Wands. Now, if this is your energy, then this is about a victory um, getting something that you wanted, standing out from the crowd, popularity, fame, acknowledgement, praise. You may have received this recently or you're receiving it presently. As a result, you have a new opportunity to shine on your own. This could be a new job, this could be a promotion, this could be going to a different department. It's definitely opportunity to grow, opportunity to climb the ladder. Maybe even to start your own business or things are taking off if this is within your own business, okay? Because we also have the King of Pentacles as the entrepreneur here. So maybe things are really picking up for your business, okay? Or this is you making more money. There's also training that needs to happen for this new position. It's more money, more responsibility. Comes with training, a lot to learn. But it is what you wanted, okay? The Queen of Wands is all about independence, self-sufficiency. The Seven of Cups, I am seeing this as, this is something you've been envisioning for a while, and now it's it's when it's manifesting, okay? Um, for others of you, again, I see this as research. I see this as, now you have multiple options available to you. So I feel like the position you are being put in, as a result of your hard work, is opening up a lot more doors for you whether that means you're networking with different types of people or um, you have the opportunity to do um, a number of different activities and tasks and that gives you a lot of experience. But whatever this is, it's opened up a lot of um, doors or it's opening up a lot of doors for you. We do have the Death Card and the Ten of Swords. Now someone is feeling betrayed by you leaving. Okay, someone's feeling stabbed in the back by your choice to go for a new opportunity. All right. And let me pull one more card for the Death Card and Ten of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. So a new cycle is stopped from recurring. Does that make sense? 
this is an old cycle, it's trying to happen again, you're stopping it because you're choosing a different path. Okay, you're choosing to end this, that's been an ongoing situation and to walk a different path, completely different path, okay, with the fool. And someone's really not happy about it, but that's not your problem. I do feel a sense of opportunity missed, someone being cocky, like you're never going to leave, and the now that they can't believe their eyes where you're actually leaving, you're actually turning them down. Um, especially if you're dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone rising Venus, or this is someone who has held back. This is someone who, for whatever reason, they may have meant well, I don't know, um, but they have held back. You were waiting for them to do something. You were waiting for them to say something. They did not. They were holding back for whatever reason. And now they decide to make their move, but you have already changed course. You've already changed course. Or you've already made up your mind to go a different way. Maybe you've got an earth sign that you're heading towards, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aquarius. Or you decide to be independent. You're not headed towards anyone else. You're deciding to be independent, self-sufficient. Focus on your success. Focus on yourself. Make your own dreams come true. Okay, you're not waiting for anyone else. And that could be a really big change. That could be a really big transformation. But you're embracing it. You're embracing it. With that fool there, you know exactly what you're doing. You don't know where it's going to take you, but you know something needs to change. Something needs to give. I do feel like this isn't completely over. I do feel like this person, whoever that you're leaving behind, will keep trying to come back. Maybe speak to you online. talk to you about choices and possibilities or you know be like what do you want me to do just tell me and I'll do it I feel like they're giving up their ego because they see that actually they're really going to lose you so they're, they're just giving up their ego it's like it doesn't even matter it doesn't matter anymore I don't want to play games anymore I don't care about my ego I don't care who's in charge who's in control I don't it doesn't matter to me I just don't want to lose you So that can lead to, if you decide, no, sorry, it's full stop, that's the end of the situation, for good. If you decide to give them another chance because they're just laying it all at your feet, okay, and you decide to restart this cycle, it will still be a big transformation in that connection, okay? It will be a big transformation because you are different and now they are different. So the situation will be different. It just decides, it decides, it depends what you want to do. But you have the potential to either end something for good or completely transform it. It may not happen overnight, but that's where things could be headed if that's what you decide, okay? For others of you, you're definitely starting your own business or your business is doing excellent during this time. Things are picking up, money's picking up, orders are picking up, your fame, your reputation. You're transforming something in your business. You're either letting go of some services or some options or whatever and transforming what you are offering. or you're reaching a new platform for others of you you're going from one job to another as I said or you're taking some time away from your own business because you have an excellent work opportunity that is going to take up more of, more of your time it will pay you well for it though 
but you may not have enough time to do your business the way you did previously. So maybe that is what you're transforming in your business to accommodate both, okay? For others of you, I do feel like you're changing something in your lifestyle, maybe a new workout program, your appearance, where you live. There's a big change within you and also outside of you, okay? In your inner world, but also in your, your um, environment, your outer world. You're letting go of a very difficult ending Okay, you're really just letting go of it. That cycle is, is completely done. You've made your peace with it, you're releasing it. You're embracing this energy of death and transformation. You're saying, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't care anymore, I don't wanna control it. All I want is to be happy, to be myself. So I'm just gonna focus on myself for a while. Make my dreams come true. Okay? And this is something that you've been trying to do for quite some time, but it's been very difficult to let go of whatever happened, okay? So celebrate. True healing is happening right now. You're finding your path, or you're going back to your path. Queen of Wands is all about confidence, your standards, you're not settling, you know who you are, you know what you're worth, you know what you deserve, you see through illusion, you see through empty promises, you don't have time for it. So that changes you in a very positive way. So if someone wants to stand by you, they need to match who you are. So they need to have the same values, the same principles. You know that, you understand that, you're more than happy with that. So you're not settling anymore. You know you're not missing out on anything. And as a result, you're transforming your love life, you're transforming the opportunities you attract in terms of work, in terms of money, in terms of just everything. And you're going to see these changes in your environment, okay? So it's not a case of you just feel different or maybe you look different or you act differently, but everyone else is seeing this as well and you're now starting to attract different people, different situations, different opportunities that match this energy, okay? Not this one. So that's awesome, isn't it? All right, so let me know. How does this apply to you? How does it make sense to you? I'm a Pisces sun as well, so I think I kind of see what the cards are talking about for me. Let me know what they're talking about for you. Um, but I do hope the reading helps. Okay, remember to watch all your other signs. Uh, make the most of this energy. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.